Today, uh, this is Antlers Archery uh, with another product review test. Uh, my name is Bill. I'm the owner of the company. Uh, today, we're going to do some more uh, testing on the broadheads. We had a lot of response from the last, the last one to try some different broadheads. Uh, we got a few of yours, uh, and we're hoping to answer some of your questions. So again, we're going to do them all against the toxic. Some people are getting sick and watching the water jug test, but I think it's a proven fact uh, what it's going to do for blood and hemorrhage tests. So uh, today we're going to be testing the Slick Trick Viper Trick. Uh, test it out real good in some uh, magazine tests. This one right here, four blade. We're going to be doing that one. And of course the Toxic, Toxic Broadhead. NAP Kill Zone, expandable. Big wound channels, had a lot of people wondering about this one. And then we got Muzzy's new one for this year, the Trocor. Uh, supposed to be really good, we're going to see what it does. And uh, we're shooting uh, flatline 340 arrows, same as we did last time. All the arrows are the same. Uh, out of my Vector Turbo. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. We got four water jugs there. We're going to see which one drains out. And we will time them and we will give you a timer because it will be a little, little tough to time. So at the end of the, the water jug test, we'll show you the times of what uh, took it to drain out. Because it's going to happen pretty quick. So uh, let's get to it. All right, here we are. We're starting out with the Slick Trick Viper Trick. And once again, my shooting does not in any means duplicate what you're going to shoot. Recommend you go out, whatever broadhead you choose, get out and shoot it. You owe that to the animal you're hunting. Get out, tune your bow. If you can't, if it's not shooting good for you, take it to your local pro shop. It's an easy fix. They'll tune it up for you, get it shooting great. But you owe that to the animal you're hunting. So get out there and I'll shoot your broadheads. We're a week away from season here. Next weekend's the opener, so hope you guys look at these and uh, make some of your decisions of what you're going to shoot. But uh, let's give it a shot right now. We're going to go after the orange jug with the slick trick. It's kind of windy out here. We got about a 15 mile an hour crosswind, so I'll do my best. Kill zone. In the purple jug. Then we're going to do a troll core. Then we're going to do a troll core. Toxic and the toxic. Here we go, slick trick. Did a great job. Not sure of the time, we'll figure that out when it's all done. Emptied it out good. NAP thought it would do a lot better. Um, was the last, it was almost the last one. The troll core is still uh, running out too. The, the uh, Toxic beat all, all of these. I don't know. It came close. The Slick Trick did really good. I was impressed. But uh, I thought the kill zone would do better. Um, troll core is shot really nice. Just didn't drain real fast. But uh, again, we'll give you the count at the end of the, the, end of the test and uh, give you the results. And uh, we're going to do some accuracy next year. I'm going to try in this wind. I'm going to try to uh, do some of three at 20 and see how they group so keep watching all right here we are we're going to try the accuracy test for you now I haven't shot any of these broadheads at 20 yards except the toxis which I use so I uh, haven't adjusted anything so I'm going to shoot them all the same um, like I said we got a pretty good wind out here today so we'll take that for granted we'll take that into account I'm going to start out with the slick trick here and, uh, and give it a three arrow group, see what it does. Um, and we'll just go with that and see how it does in this wind. I don't know, this wind is pretty strong, so we're going to give it our best.
Again, 15, 20 mile an hour, 30 mile an hour gusts sometimes. Uh, the shots felt pretty decent. I knew I could have grouped these even tighter yet, but in this wind, you know, 20 yards, uh, they're, they're flying true out of the bowl. I can see that. They're not the fish tailing or whipping. They're doing a great job. So I'm sure I could have tucked in real tight groups, but this is the Slick Trick Viper Trick, and uh, I think we've got the NAP next, so we'll give that a shot, come down and look at it. NAP kill zone. Uh, two shots felt really great. This wind is killing me out here though. This one here I let down once. Should have let down again because it was just blowing me everywhere but I thought I could hold it and dropped it all a little bit but I'm sure it would have been right there next to two awesome flying broadhead. Works great. Uh, very accurate. All right now what's up is the Muzzy Troll Car. Um, fixed blade new out for this year for Muzzy. It's got the offset blades. Um, real short profile, which everybody seems to be going for in a fixed blade. Um, looks pretty strong, durable, like Muzzy makes them, and uh, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, see how it groups in this wind. We are with the Muzzy Troll Car. Seemed to go a little right on me. It could have been the wind. The wind has come from left to right, pushing pretty hard. Um, this one here, it flew really nice, was down on the wind, was kind of calmed down, so I had a good shot pattern. And um, this one here just seemed to come off. Uh, so, could be anything. Could be uh, the wind, could be a little bit on the tuning of my boy, I need to do for Muzzies, otherwise, uh, not too bad. And we're finishing up with the Toxic. Uh, see how it flies. We'll give it a shot. It's going to be an honest test. We're just going to do our shooting, see what the wind does, see what the bow does, and uh, we'll check them out. And then I got one more test for you after this, so hang on. was really good with a group really nice shot perfect I'm, I'm happy with all the broadheads and shot but you know shoot them shoot your broadheads don't take my word for it don't take anybody else's word for it you see every bow is different uh, every setup is different if you have any problems go to your local pro shop they'll take care of it all right that completes that we got one more test and it wouldn't be uh, any of my tests if I didn't break something I know I get a lot of harp sometimes the guys wonder why I do it why not? All right, here we go. Final test. Like I said earlier, it's not one of my tests unless I break something. Uh, don't judge me for it, as my buddy says. <laughs> Just having fun testing it out. It's what it's there for. Um, I got an eighth-inch diamond plate out there. We're only shooting it probably 12 yards, something like that. We're gonna do a little penetration test. See what kind of hole it makes, if it makes a hole. Um, these are old arrows, I needed new ones anyway, so uh, we're going to give her a shot. i got four spots. We're going to start with the Muzzy Troll Core first. See what it does to the blades after, while, after we're done. See the exit, what it does to the metal. We're just going to check it out and uh, we'll talk about it. So here we go. Green dot on the right. the slick trick viper trick. Next dot, let's see what it does. This is probably the one I'm worried about. NAP kill zone. It's meant to do big holes. I don't know if it's meant to go through steel, but 
Let's see. Last but not least, toxic. Let's see what some metal does to it. All right, let's start with the muzzy. You can see a definite shape that it makes with the three cut, three slices, ferrule punches a hole. Nice job. Go down to the Slick Trick Viper Trick. You can see the two longer blades, two bleeder blades. Nice job. We go to the kill zone. Made a pretty good cut for going through metal. Two blades though. You know, the wound channel isn't as big. You know, you're not going to get that, that blood flow out of a, you know, a shoulder blade. Then we go to Toxic. Was I using a shotgun or was I using a bow? I don't know, but that looks like somebody shot a slug through it. That's a testament to what it should do to a shoulder blade. It should cut a hole. 